Hello everyone, I'm gonna show you why I love this Mr. Coffee Iced and Hot Coffee Maker. So you can brew a coffee into a travel mug, but it comes with this nice tumbler to make an iced coffee. I'm gonna show you how to make each one. First, let's take a look at the unit. We've got a button here for over iced and hot. And on the left here, we got a nice area for the scoop that stores the scoop. So you can fit almost an eight inch travel mug in there. Let's take a look at the top. It's got this hinge lid. Here's where you're gonna put the coffee. It comes with a reusable filter. You're gonna put the coffee in here and this is the coffee filter basket. Right here's where you're gonna pour the water and it shows you it's got like a six, eight and 12 and 16 ounce step. Okay, so I'm gonna use some Dunkin' Donuts Original Blend Coffee. You can use any coffee made for a coffee maker. I like the medium roast. They seem to make the, the best iced coffee for me. We've got this little uh, snowflake in there. That's what we're gonna use for iced coffee. So for over ice, you're gonna use one to two of the big scoops. If you were just doing hot coffee, you can, you can brew an eight ounce hot coffee, a 12 ounce hot coffee, or a 16 ounce coffee. And it shows you exactly how many scoops you need for there. One, one and a half, and two of the smaller scoop. So we're gonna be using this one. I'm gonna put two full scoops in there. Okay, so it's very easy to add the coffee grounds. Just move this out of the way. Here's the scoop, you're gonna put it right there. And I'm gonna add the second scoop right there. Move the brew head back over. If you forget to move the brew head back over, it does move over when you close the lid. Now we're gonna add the water. When you're making an iced coffee, the tumbler has a water line on it, so fill the tumbler up to the water line. Okay, so the tumbler's filled up with the water line. This is the amount of water you're gonna put in here. Right here in the back. And you can see it fills it up just shy of the 12 ounce. Make sure you close the lid. So we gotta do one more thing. We gotta fill the tumbler up, there's an ice line. So we gotta fill this tumbler all the way up to the top with ice. Okay, so the tumbler is filled up with ice. We're gonna put it underneath here where the coffee's gonna come out. And you're gonna press the over ice button. That's gonna light up. The coffee maker will shut off automatically when it's done. And again, if I wanted to brew just regular coffee into a travel mug, I would put the travel mug underneath there. So it starts brewing right away. Let's open it up, be careful this could be hot. There's the coffee grounds brewing. Now this does brew the coffee hot. So it's gonna melt that ice right away. And the coffee coming out is around 150. The theory behind this is that coffee is gonna be really, con it's gonna be a really concentrated coffee. But since it's so hot, it's gonna melt that ice the ice is gonna dilute it, and then you'll have just the right amount of coffee taste for it. And the drink will be cold still. Okay, so after about two and a half, three minutes, the button shuts off itself, the light turns off, that means the coffee maker is turned off. We can open this up and see how the coffee grounds did. Okay, so now we can take it out. Give it a good stir. You could add a little more ice if you wanted to. But that's a really cold, that's a 36 degree drink, 35, that's a very cold drink. So iced coffee to me is, is really bitter still. I like to add a little bit of milk. It takes away the bitterness. It kind of just helps smooth out that coffee taste. And then I like to add French vanilla. You can add any syrup you'd like. Two pumps. I really like this tumbler that it came with. It's got a nice straw and it screw, it's got a lid that screws on. So you just screw it on, it's nice and tight. You can give it a good shake. That's a delicious iced coffee. That's really refreshing and nice and cold. And you can add whatever different flavors, flavors of syrup you'd like. Cleanup is very simple. You're gonna open this up, let this cool down. But there is a handle here. You can take this over to your garbage can or recycling and you can empty out those coffee grounds. Both those parts are dishwasher safe also. I really like this coffee maker and I'm very glad I bought it. Thanks everybody for watching.